We rolling! Are you ready? What are we doing? Uh, we're just bringing it in. Want me to do it? Sure. Okay. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the TV show show where we talk about our current favorite show, The Legend of Korra, book four. I'm Raina Scully. I'm Sam Basher. And I'm the gosh darn avatar, William Haynes. So this week we watched episode five, Enemy at the Gates, and it dealt with uh, Kuvira trying to finally un unite the rest of the Earth Empire by taking what over South Food. What do you mean? Unite. Food. Unite. It's not, it's conquering. Yeah, it's he, not uniting, he air quoted it's conquering. It. He air quoted it. What do you mean? What if do you it's mean? all one, what does it matter? That's when we, what? that's a different <laughs> I'm saying I'm a Kuvira anyway. <laughs> supporter. I'm saying I trust oh, her. Oh, cool. He's a Kuvira supporter. I know, like, this is off the bat, but can we talk about how everybody wears those metal things around their necks so she can, and whenever she wants, choke them in a Darth Vader style? Well, yeah, no. she just takes them off and goes, like, in the first episode. That's no, that's true. not what happens. That no, is what yeah, happens. I mean, it is what happens, but they didn't know that. They didn't That's know true. she knew you. Yeah. You don't think she knew like that bendable thing to me is right around people's necks. Like I might accidentally wake up and choke someone to death. Like maybe she knew. I think it's a like a, a powerful thought pattern though. Like you have to be like, okay, take it off my shoulder, put it. I'm around saying she neck. saw Star choke. Wars: A New Hope, and she oh. and she said, ooh, that looks like the kind of power I want. So uh, let's continue on with the show. Okay. Uh, we also got to find out what the purpose of the spirit vine was, which again is weird because it's not what I thought it was, which would have been cool. Way cooler. But, uh, would have been way cooler. But so now we have lasers instead of bullets. Yeah, and just they're just need to point hyper. that out. They yeah. don't have one bullet in this world. Not gunpowder. Anything. They might have gunpowder. That's good. I don't. Like, they have, I don't like guns. But now they have laser you, guns. Why would you need a gun? Why would you need a bullet if you could blast someone in the mouth with fire? Again, but that's what normal people need. Normal uh, people need yeah. the guns. To but protect now, themselves. the metal benders have a laser. Well, yeah. I mean, even if guns existed, it wouldn't even matter because the metal benders could be like, up. Oh, uh, that's true. Stop, up. Because yep. metals are, I mean, bullets are made out of b b b metal. So the spirit roots are used, I mean, okay, it's a laser, but what do they call it? They just basically called it's, it a high-powered high, high powered weapon? They were trying to, he, Varric vaguely said he was trying to take the the vine and harness the energy to put it in a battery for whatever mm -hmm. reason. Uh, but didn't work out and it blew off half the train. So, yeah. well, uh, and then we got to see how the weapon's not done up. yet. I think it's still going to become something else. Maybe not as 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 weird as you thought it was going to be, but I yeah. think it's still going to become something well, more something than that. weird. Definitely yeah. so because it's definitely deadly. Yeah, Varric mm -hmm. was kept there. Um Bolin and Julie were going to get what thrown into Oh, Some kind of end. concentration camp, yeah, essentially. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, just center camp. But uh, <laughs> you're gonna get dilated. You're mm -hmm. gonna get the whole this treatment. You're gonna little mind control. Oh no! Yeah, little brainwashing. But yeah, Varric. Uh, she, um, Kuvira made Varric stay with them yeah. so that he could finish his experiments and research on the Why would she need spirit it? vines. We'll find out. Well, she wants more power. She wants more power. Yep. Everybody else's power wants more power. I mean, when you got an army like that, what more power do you need? Yeah. yeah. So she's trying. She tries to use Bolin to win over Zafu, Su, Su Yin, and all his family, but that's not going to work. No, she it didn't work at all. She successfully won over anybody. They well, won she, over by force. in the beginning, she yeah. did. And she's doing it by force, is what we learned in this episode. She got episode. all the easy poor people. Well, now uh -huh. people that are like, oh, my, my civilization's all right. She can't get any of those mm -hmm. people. Nope, they're smarter. So she's like, she has well, to trick them. do you see my huge army? How's mm -hmm. that make you feel? Yeah. And I feel like coward. if you had a huge army, you could do literally whatever you want. That's basically what's so, happening yep. with her. That's kind of what history has shown us in real life, too. Yeah. How did she get that many supporters? Also, like, how did she get an they army? They had babies, that all right. Oh, they had babies. <laughs> in three years. I think she, she, <laughs> she mentioned in the episode that it started off as uh, people from Zalfu. Some mm -hmm. of the, the that was cool. We had that flashback. Yeah. And yeah. then they had babies, and they, they had oh, babies, all right. and they're quick in grown babies, mm -hmm. yeah. and they all grew up. Yeah, haven't you seen the Alien movie? Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I got a tweet from Savannah Franklin at Savanny. Uh, why isn't Korra willing to fight? Does she not know how vicious and conniving Kuvira because is? Because so, of character development. Yes, also, she's, she's been gone. Yeah, she's been yeah, gone. And it's completely like, this This show is doing a good job of showing that Korra is growing up. Because mm -hmm. like in the beginning, yeah, of course she's going to go in there and fight. Even in the third season when they were trying to collect airbenders, she wanted to fucking just yeah. take the dude yeah. and throw him into the airship and leave. Mm -hmm. That's not going to work. I love that part. I do too. That was yeah. a good episode because he was a little shithead. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> she even said herself, she was like, the, the old me would have just gone in and fight, which would have been great. And she right. was reasonable, though. She's like, she saved my dad. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't I try to talk Ironically, to her? Ironically, this is the one time where her fighting might have been the right decision. 
Ben. You, That's you know, a whole army, though. She, she does have the Avatar, Avatar State. state. Remember true. in uh, Aang, not even in the Avatar State, he like took out like five uh, Fire Nation ships at the at the Water Tribe in but season that's one. That's Aang. She's Aang. even yeah. better than him bending wise. Uh, bending wise. Uh, bending wise. Bending wise. Yes. Bending wise. Bending wise. Yes. Not air yes. bending. Like but physical bending combat bending wise. wise. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um, I what you mentioned earlier, I really like that she specifically did say, uh, I that old me would have fought, but I think. Um, Kavira, I think I can get through to Kuvira, mm -hmm. but that wasn't the case. It was actually very weird and mirrored because Kuvira said the same thing about Su Yin. She's like, if we could get Bolin to play the nice guy part, I think we could get Su Yin to turn. But that didn't work either. Yeah, and but, I thought that was like mirroring how oh, that is they're true. kind of not misconceiving almost each other. Uh huh. Cora and Kuvira are similar. We got yeah. some yeah. real family together. emotions going on in here. Yeah, you man. know how like people are always like, ooh, a war will start all over the love of a woman. I think Su Yin is just mad because her son went off with her. <laughs> got, got some smash in his life, and she's like, ah. <laughs> Well, it is kind of a betrayal. I mean, oh, they definitely. took, yeah, everyone originally started from Zalfu. Like, Kuvira started from Zalfu, and she took her son, and then she... You know how embarrassing yeah. that is? Mm -hmm. Some of your friends went and tried to take over the entire Earth Kingdom. Yeah. Like, I mean, I just raised them both as my mm -hmm. children. Yeah. Right. <laughs> she even mentioned that the guards, in the end, ended up joining Kuvira, too. Well, because it's true, because you were they were only protecting a city that didn't need to be protected. And then we hop back to the story that Bolin and Varric both know that Kuvira's crazy, because mm. she just wants the power. That's all she I wants. Like how I love just that now. Finding that out. Yeah. Like, three years. Like can three you, years. They of, were manipulating yeah. it, I, I, I certainly believe that some people you can look into their eyes and tell they're crazy. Like mm -hmm. Kavir's got crazy eyes. She's she got, got crazy, crazy eyes. And but that she's crazy pretty mold. convincing. And a crazy, <laughs> crazy mole. Mole. You look one second into that mole, you see Satan. Mm -hmm. That's true. <laughs> but she's highly convincing. I understand that somebody like Bolin would continue to believe that she's trying to do good. Because they did do they did do good. Their intentions and were then originally. They left. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, right. That's and true. Superman does good. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. The whole character development thing is so strong in this season because oh, uh, even yeah. Beric was like, you know what? I'm having these things called emotions. And yeah. a conscience. <laughs> All these voices in my head are telling, telling me it's me wrong. Not to do this. <laughs> and he's like, no, we're not going to do this because it fell in the wrong hands. That'd be terrible. He's smart. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. believe yeah. that he turned like that. That like, was amazing. He might have been the yeah. only character from the first season that's been consistently the same. Uh, other than Tenzin's wife, she's kind of just been Tenzin's wife she's the whole just, time. Yeah. Well, she's just but, there. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, uh. yeah. She so makes some good food. It's good to see that he's finally changed. And then we saw that he's been betrayed by, by Julie. Julie. And we get to see, finally see some Rubit fight. I bet, yeah. you guys, I bet you guys think that Julie's for real in, in following Kavira. I don't. No, no, no. no. I think she's much smarter than Varric. Yeah, the credit. I think so, too. She's uh, got Stockholm Syndrome. Like, she <laughs> loves Varric forever. Uh -huh. Knock, knocky san at Oki-san goes, at Source of Nerd, okay, it's confirmed. Julie is a bamf. Her skills with those robot suits are out of this world. She's extremely talented. She's so and, great. And she's so great. And there was a great. moment where you saw them kind of have a, you know, when they, she, or very Ooh, a smash her. moment? Yeah. yeah, and you're like, so she didn't really give up that quick in the time of her being saved by, saved by him, and then um, them having the robot fight. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, she's faking it. You're yeah. faking it. Okay, right. Julie so, would always fake. Mm -hmm. Wait, so, okay, Bolin and Julie were supposed to be sent to the camp, but instead, Julie goes, no, I pledge my allegiance to you, Kavira, instead. Varric has betrayed me. She's a me. viper. What's yeah. going on? Yeah. That's what we think is BS. We think Julie's putting on an act so that she can kind of... Save them? Go or, in from the inside yeah, out. Why yeah, not? right? Yeah, that'd be cool. She might still really love Varric, or maybe she's think, really been betrayed I'm gonna by take it Like, e hardcore. I'm going to take it even farther, and I'm going to say Varric is also in on it. He was like, good job, Julie. This was Planned 62A. Maybe. <laughs> wow. I, he seems that would too, be amazing. He, seems too he always has a plan. That's he true. always has a plan. He got out of prison. But how did he get the, he, but also Julie also is in on the plan. I think she's smart enough to make her own plan. I don't you think, think so. I don't think Varric knows. I think Varric thinks he's like he's screwed. Yeah. yeah. I think it could be oh. either way. Mm. Yeah. But she would never betray him that quick. But it makes sense. No, it would She's make... had several opportunities. That's true. And it makes a lot or no, maybe she just woke up finally at that last moment where, you know, she he didn't save her. I'll be mm. real disappointing you girl if you yeah. did. But I it know makes, you're watching this, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> but it would be amazing, and it would make a lot of sense for her and Varric to have actually had a plan because now they're both there together instead of her being far away and him still being with. Oh Kavira. yeah, they're both there now. Bolin uh -huh. is the only one that is away, or that yeah. is going to be sent away. But to can camp. we talk about finally for in this in the season we finally seen him do some good old lava bending? Yes. <gasps> if he learned that Bolin. skill, why didn't he use it? That's yet? why he's on the team. That's yeah. why he's on the team. He's the only lava. Well, there's probably other lava benders, but, but you know. 
he's not as good as him. Him. He's got a lot. He's got a cool rap sheet. He's a uh, pro bending <laughs> uh, champion. He's an, an actor. actor, a world famous actor, and a lava bender. He saved the world like a million times. Yeah. I love and him. now he's part of a revolution. And they kind of just treat him like, oh, Bolin, you're around here again. No, I was you're doing the joke He's character. much more valuable he's, than Mako. He's like, Mako, <laughs> yeah. He's know. just a cop. Like, this guy has a. He's so Mako talented. is a cop. Mako is a cop. Uh, yeah. And we know he's not even a cop. He is a security a, guard. The robot picked Varric up by his head. How, and Varric was just like, man, it's very gentle. Like that. It's very yeah, gentle. Yeah, he was just like, oh, really? Let's try. Yeah. Let's try. Yeah, like, we'll okay, get your metal here. arms okay. out the closet over there, uh-huh. and then like, ready, lift. One, two, three, oh, lift. Oh, doesn't hurt. Working. Doesn't hurt me. Okay, uh-huh. it didn't work. <laughs> Boo Rouge a hanger says, mm-hmm. He says, hmm. I kind of get the feeling like Kavira put in the metal shoulder pads on purpose so she could easily oh. silence traitors. Hashtag TV show. Oh. I mean, yeah, that's something I would do if I knew I could do it. I, I wonder mean, how many dissenters there's been because there's a camp now. Or there's, there's many a whole camps. Camp. Yeah, there's a whole camp. If you yeah. have a whole camp of people mm-hmm. that disagree with you, mm-hmm. maybe you got some flaws in your plan. What really do you think good. is going to happen? Do you think Su Yin's going to kill anybody? You wow, better. that would or be pretty... Or do you think she's going to die? Oh, stop! Or is she going to just be sent to a camp? I think she's going to be sent to a camp. These are all the choices. Where yeah. is Tenzin? <laughs> Tenzin, you need to come in here. You need to rip her gas shirt off. Tenzin was in the He's episode for like five seconds. Fight in a flashback. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in a flashback. <laughs> I'm Tenzin and I'm being straightforward. And that was it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and I love the Asami storyline. Oh, oh, we, we completely talk about that. Talk about the Asami storyline was great. Like, And really I love was. Daniel Day Kim. He's the voice actor for, uh, uh, I don't remember, I forget his first name, but Sato, the, the, his, the father. Can I point out that how much he looks like Hayao Miyazaki? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know I'm gonna like send that. like an editor a picture to put those two together because yeah. it was just like them. No, that hacks. was on purpose. They yeah, know. They probably did. They love uh, yeah. Studio Ghibli. Ghibli. They did they it really on purpose do. because um, all the spirits are Studio Ghibli yeah. spirits. Uh-huh. Yeah, and they did. I like the last season. She talked about how um, her dad taught her how to play Pai Show. And oh they, like, yeah. And they played together. And they brought it back. And that was so adult. If you have There's daddy so many issues, adult things in this. If you have daddy issues, you cried a couple times in this. You don't even have to have daddy issues at all. You just cried. If you have a heart, you cried a couple times in this. There you go. He was an awful, awful, oh, yeah. awful Did he person. try to beat up his daughter? Yeah. yeah. He tried to kill her. And Over then, some money? Yeah, but no. Oh. Well, I nodded my ass. I mean, how much money would it take for you to beat up your daughter? Let's be honest here. Let us know in the comments down below how much money it would cost for you to beat, <laughs> beat up, up your, your daughter. daughter or son. So what are you guys excited for for next episode? Because it should be part two of what's happening right now. Mm-hmm. Hopefully the, nah, the United Forces wouldn't show up. They said it would take too long. Mm-hmm. Uh, it would take too long. Ooh. And Kavira has back. that insane army. I'm saying. By the way, they Hell's built buildings. They built, they built buildings. If you I'm, watch one of those scenes. I thought they were just like tents. No, like, no, when they went up close, they're metal. So I'm like, they're metal benders, so they could build yeah, it. Yeah, they metal like, tents. No, 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 they're buildings. <laughs> I'm saying, I'm ready to see Korra fight somebody. You gotta fight. If she's, I want her to fight And Kavira. she's gonna lose. She's gonna yeah, lose. Yeah, she's gonna hard. lose. But we've had some major character development. Maybe she'll be able to... To win, See, she's these probably are my gonna though. protect Kavira. This show has changed me because I was not all about the fighting in the, in the beginning. I was like, I want to see some good, peaceful, spiritual stuff. Mm. Now I'm like, nah, it's been too long. Scene I'm at like, the end of last season, do you remember that? But Which it one? was honestly it's, for it's you. Here, the oh, most yeah. awesome fight scene in the show. Yeah, that yeah. was pretty good. But yeah, honestly, it was for you. It all ended after Tenzin ripped off his shirt. Ever since then, oh, he yeah, 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 did. Ever since then, that's what did it. He really did. Oh, Tenzin. He almost beat here too. That's embarrassing. It took yeah. her like four different elements to all, to almost beat Zaheer. But he, she was poisoned. If Tenzin yeah. hadn't been beat up earlier that day, he would have won. Yeah. Speaking of being poisoned, mm-hmm. we haven't seen Korra actually go into the Avastar. We no, just for saw a second. Second. for a second. For a her second. Eyes. That's all you need. But that's that was need. when she was just removing the metal from her body. Oh wait, but the the past avatars still aren't there. Yeah. You know what's cool? When the when Aang or Korra in the first two seasons would go into the Avatar state, you'd hear all the voices talking yeah. about the past Avatars. When she did it at the end of last season, when she was poisoned. Was it just hers? Just it hers. It just hers, because it was they're just all Because de- all it is dead. is just her now. Dang it's no, it. yeah. There's no power from the other Avatars, it's just her, and she's just like one again. And that's oh. what I means she was pretty powerful oh. being poisoned. Oh no! Everything. Yeah. You ever felt alone? She's alone. I Poor mean, alone. most people only have themselves inside of them, but you know, if you were used to having 150 plus. Uh, over like 10,000 years of people inside yeah. of you. Oh. All that knowledge. Some of them are douchebags, I'm sure. There's at yeah. least seven douchebag avatars. Of course. The one, the, the waterbender before. The waterbender. Until his wife got killed. He mm. was a douchebag before that. Guys, that's the end of our review for episode five of Legend of Korra. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you watch the show on Fridays at nick.com at noon, whatever time zone you're in. Yep. Is, I'm really <laughs> excited for next week. Also, you can go buy some cool Korra slash avatar stuff at the FHP store. Go check it out. And also on Friday, Have so it should already be up, is the superhero 
roundup from last week with uh, Lieberman and DJ and myself, and that was a lot of fun. Sounds also, like fun. Uh, let me know what you think of my pants. Oh, yeah. Uh, tell us whose pants are shorter. Who wears short shorts? And most importantly, Guru Lahima. I'm Sam Basher. I'm Rana Scully. Guru Lahima. We're gross. I gotta do it faster. I can't do it that fast! He was an airbender. Instinct <laughs> is a lie told by a body. Hold I can do it faster if I'm standing. Pulling my groin. Guru Lahima. Let's stop. Guru Lahima. No, I don't Guru want to make this noise anymore. That's a real airbender right there. I'm tired. Let's go.